Hey people, thank you for checking in to another episode of Morsi Music, where I share some free information, 20 years of DJ experience. And this episode, I wanted to talk about some DJing tips, stuff that the average beginner probably won't know or understand um, because they're just like, hey, I want to DJ. Can I show up to the party? Uh, anyway, with that said, let's say you do get a DJ gig. Here are some major important tips you need to have. Are you ready? First, if you're modern and you're doing all the whole CDJ shit, you're going to need a USB, right? So what I recommend, first of all, is not just getting one USB, not getting two USBs, but also a third USB as a backup. Now, the reason for that, um, sometimes when you're at a club, the CDJ, you have two CDJs, one of the, the link, the Cat5 link wire, the Ethernet wire that's in the back that connects both turntables sometimes is broken. If you ever DJed a New York spot, you probably have experienced that shit and it's not fun. I literally had a, I was playing at a club and I literally had another DJ across the street come up to me and ask if I had an, another USB or if I had an ethernet wire. And I was like, no, that's your bad for just bringing one USB and talking about, Hey, I'm ready to DJ. That's not how it works. Bring two, bring your backup. Now with that out of the way, um, I did see a video in the past, one video on YouTube, this guy talks about the same scenario about bringing two USBs. Um, here's a little more modern approach to that video. That video was like about five years ago. I usually go with the SanDisk. I don't know if you could see it. Let's see, can you see it? Yeah, there, you, there it goes. All right, I go with the SanDisk. This is the dual, dual USB-C. And look at that. So for all those Mac users out there, or even PC users, you got your USB-C. And then when you're DJing all these CDJs, Pioneer, Denon, whatever, they got the, US, the original USB. These are always USB 3.0s. Do not be cheap. Don't go on Amazon and buy some basic generic shit because it was on sale for 20 bucks. That is going to stall. It's going to slow down on your CDJ. I've seen it before. I've, I've seen people put in these cheap USBs and like it takes forever to load the whole playlist and you're just like stunned, especially with those old CDJs. Whew. You'll be fucked out there. So don't do that. Um, and then that video also... It, it did talk about bring two USBs, yes. But, and it also mentioned bring a third USB. But what I will say is with the third USB, if you're rocking CDJs and it's set to using Rekordbox, that's the, the program where it's going to read your playlist and it's going to analyze everything through Rekordbox, bring a third USB that doesn't have Rekordbox. It's just has your same songs in a folder, but that has not been analyzed because maybe your CDJs will have an old version of record box and it won't read, or let's say there's an emergency and you don't need a DJ in record box. You can only DJ with a laptop. You have your friend's laptop. You can plug in and still play uh, those same tracks without having to deal with analyze because for those who know in pioneer when you open up the folder those usbs that have been uh record box uh analyzed it, sh it shows up as a contents folder and that one contents folder has like thousands if not millions of songs um so it's going to be impossible to, to search through the right songs that you want if you needed to DJ an emergency case. So one word of advice, make your folders and separate them through genre or playlists, however you want for the night. 
as your backup. So there's those tips. Now I'm a professional and I don't mess around. So what I also do is I bring my phone, an old phone that has a jack still, or the, uh, if you have an iPhone, let's say you just brought your iPhone with you, bring this, bring your Y cable. It's two, it's RCA. And the other side is a thin jack. And if you're using the iPhone, bring the dongle. Don't skimp out and get those cheap dongles that from Amazon. Those shits don't work properly. I'm telling you now, get the original Apple ones. Spend the extra money and just do it. Because I've experienced it where sometimes it disconnects and you don't want that to happen in an emergency. You don't want any disconnect, right? Because it's an emergency, you're in a rush. So make sure you get your backup, all right? You get your dongle. Uh, why I use the old phone that has both, because let's say I needed to charge, I can still charge and I could still play with the, uh, the eighth inch jack, all right? So that's another important tip that I always tell DJs to bring as an emergency. Um, a few more things, a few more items, because I'm an expert. <laughs> I have protection for my ears, all right? These are just standard earbud foam. They're squishy, nice and foam and squishy to absorb sound. So when I'm DJing, I actually stopped using headphones. I don't... I don't use headphones for the club anymore. One, because they're heavy um, and I'm all minimalist. But two, because for many years, if you're DJing with headphones, you're kind of doing this. That strain for doing six hour sets for all these years fucked up my neck. And it's tense. You don't want to be tense like this, so I started switching to uh, earbuds. It took uh, about a year to get used to, six months to get used to, but now it's my favorite thing. And these are Shures. I swear by them. Let's see if we can get close. Um, because I like the Shures, they have a really thick wire, and this thick wire just will, like, you could ball it up, and it'll be indestructible. And there's a, like a year or two warranty, so that's even a, a bigger plus. So I have these to protect one ear. So if I'm listening in the club, I'm usually like this. And then I'll have the other foam in this ear. And then if I'm doing like, a, let's say I'm doing a four-hour set, I might alternate every hour and a half or hour. depends. Um, so I'll do this. And then I'll get maybe a little fatigue. So I'll switch it up and then go in the other ear. Simple as that. But this DJs, beginner DJs, protect your ears. I have many friends. I'm not going to say names, but I have many friends that I've DJed with. Those motherfuckers are deaf because they just crank up, crank up, crank up that um, DJ mixer to hear more volume because they didn't have protection. Have your protection early. It's like condoms for DJs. All right. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it. Um, for, I mean, for any little extra technicality, I always, you know, I bring my, my little bag. And in my bag, I have doo -doo -doo, business cards. I got little quick business cards. You don't really need them, honestly. If somebody asks for your business card, say, hey, here's my card, but also, what's your Instagram? What's uh, your email? So that I can reach out to you directly. A lot of people will ask for a card, but they won't do shit with it. If you reach out to them, be like, hey, you mentioned needing my card. Uh, here are my services. Definitely reach out. Keep in touch. Plus, you get that extra Instagram follower. So there's another tip right there for you. Uh, last thing in my bag. I mean, there's a few things. All right. I wear glasses. <laughs> so 
needs some lens cleaner because I literally have DJed spots where I didn't bring this shit and it was just blurry all night. And it's just, it's annoying to have the smudge while you're DJing. It's just, you want to pay attention to that crowd. Um, I do have this. I really don't use it all the time, but it is a light. It's a USB light that actually can plug right into a Pioneer DJ mixer. This shit has saved lives because it's sometimes really dark in clubs and you want to be able to just see it without straining for all those hours. And last but not least, I bring a little thing of hand cream. Um, only because during the winter, you're DJing, you're, you're spinning, you're using your hands all day. The shit will get chapped. It'll get dry. It feels annoying. So I like to moisturize, you know, and get a little, get a little perked up. Yeah. And I think that's it. So hopefully all that was helpful info. And to all those beginner DJs out there, stay up, practice, don't give up. Don't automatically just ask for gigs, work for it. Um, hit me up directly if you have any questions. Any DJs in the comments, um, veteran ones, that have some extra tips that I didn't mention, please mention it in the comments. And all those beginner DJs, definitely reach out, hit me up on the comments with some questions. Hopefully I've answered a few. All right, until next time, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, please, I'm doing this for free. All I ask is that you subscribe, all right?